Hi, it's Jenny. Welcome to Juniper's World. I guess the third time's the charm. This is my third attempt at this video because I kept forgetting things. Not forgetting things in my mind, forgetting things in my bathroom. So let's start over. Let's just cut to the chase. Um, I'm going to be using for the first time this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. It's got retinol in it and it says that it works even after you take it off. We'll find out. And then I am doing the ColourPop Volumizing Mascara, which is new to me um, because I had plenty of mascaras. And the last one I had, the Exhibitionist, I did not like at all. Sorry about the noise in the background. That's the air conditioner. And I need to see a doctor or something because I get too hot. I just put on a little bit of NYX Angel Veil uh, primer. Get the hair out of the way. I don't know why I always have to have my hair, my bangs down. It's not like I have a big forehead. I'm not trying to hide anything. I just feel awkward without it, without my bangs down. So, let's try this again. Uh, two pumps should do it, I'd say. And I am going to use a beauty blender because that's what I prefer. And I like the fact that that product has a uh, pump. I I like a pump or a squeeze tube. Um, I don't even like doe foot applicators because as clean as you can possibly be If you um, have any bacteria on your hand or on your face or wherever you're applying the product and then you put it back in the bottle, you've contaminated the whole bottle. And I just prefer that. There's a YouTuber that I really like. Her name is Gemma. Her YouTube channel is called Pampered Wolf. I highly suggest you go visit her. She is very thorough. And um, she too prefers a pump above all else. And at first, I thought that this lotion was going to be too dark. 
Actually, it's not. Now, I'm going to try again on camera. The Becca um, correcting cream. Right there. I just don't know if it's my application process That does look better. Now let me go over it with a little bit more, the tiniest bit more, oh, way too much. Well, the Becca is working better than the um, what's the other one? What is the other one? Boing, benefit boing. I got way too much there. There. Still. You know, I was watching Tati when she had that um, makeup artist that does J Lo's makeup, Scott Scott Barnes, and. Um, the way he explained that it's not necessarily the darkness that you need to get rid of, it's the brightness, I can't recall. Anyway, before that sets, I'm going to use my RCMA powder. And all that I do with that is
take a brush, tap it in there, pat, 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 pat. Kind of patting the creases out. So that it can set. This powder is very finely milled. And you get three ounces. I want to say for no more than ten dollars let's go ahead and do the face first if I can find my sponge there it is so I'm not gonna do much on my eyes what I really wanted to do was this foundation and see how it held up And I realized, watching my videos over, that I do need to wear just a little bit more makeup than I usually do. Because me, right now, I'm just using sunlight. So, you're not getting the full impact of exactly what I'm wearing. And it's fading out. That looks very pretty. This is ColourPop's um, Super Shock Sh Cheek Satin in Prenup. And I guess you could use your fingers. I just use the flat end of my beauty blender or the rounded end and swoosh it around in there and then boop, boop, boop. And there you go. And I'm going to go ahead and do my bronzer. I wonder how many of you live on the East Coast that's getting this horrible, horrible heat or down in Louisiana with uh, the hurricane or tropical storm. I have a nephew and his wife and uh, they live down in New Orleans. They have a, I think she's about 14 months now. And then they just had uh, twins. They've got their hands full, hurricane or not. Alrighty, just want to blend that in a little bit. And take 
where'd it go? There it is. There we go. Ah, uh, I think I need a little bit more. Alrighty, now I want to, and I did forget my spray. Just a minute. Okie dokie. And I really like to pat that in. Okay, so... My face is almost done. I also got Maybelline's Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. Now this is dark. Dark, dark. What did I get? Medium brown. And the next one below that was taupe and I thought that would be too blonde and look at this it's flat on one end edge and it's got the bristles on the top edge very strange so I lightly go over my brows with this. I have a spot right there that just never wants to take product on. Where's my spoolie? I forgot a spoolie. Oh well. That's good enough. Okay. The next thing I want to do is, uh, almost the last thing, is um, I am just going to put on a, a Super Shock Shadow in the um, color XO, EXO. It's one of the new ones that I got that I mentioned in my video. A few days ago. Look at that. I just love it. These don't crease. They wear off very nicely.
they don't flake. And they're five dollars. I have got so, I, I don't get any boxes, oh, and look what I remembered, makeup removing cloths, good job Jenny. I don't have any boxes coming um, anytime soon, I usually get them the middle beginning to the middle of the month but um, and right now I'm just using my number seven triple action translucent finishing powder in light I just like this for the uh, Pore minimizing properties because it does work. This one, and what's the other one I really like? Maybelline Fit Me. Ugh. Mmm. that line give me a spray again put on my mascara And this isn't the kind of wand I like either, but I've already opened it. I had no idea. But this one isn't as bad as clumpy as the Exhibitionist. I like this one much better than the Exhibitionist. I love ColourPop's products. I really do. I have a couple palettes back there yet to play with. I don't want to do a video where I'm doing ma uh, face makeup and new face makeup and new eye products because I take so long and I don't know how to edit yet. Um, that. It, it would it would take forever so if I wanted to do this uh, this face product 
and then also do a new face palette it'd be a 45 minute video and probably the only 45 minute video I'd watch is Wayne Goss He's so damn cute. And then take my medieval torture device. That would be horrible. Seriously, though, you really do have to be careful and still. If you choose to use one of these. I don't know if you can see, look how many clumps that took out. It's crazy. And then the last thing we have to do is lips. And I am really enjoying... Can I take my breaths out now? I do need to get my hair trimmed. I have been enjoying NYX Butter lipsticks for sure. This one might be a little too pink, but... And there is the final look. I think that the Neutrogena Anti-Aging Perfector looks wonderful. Um, You know, these dark circles, I do not know what to do with them. I have used the greenest of the green, the peachest of the peach, and I really don't know what to do about them. They are so big. Um, I've almost been tempted to buy that stuff that you see on the infomercial that you put it on there and you wait three minutes or whatever and it shrinks it all up but I think it was like $45 for 30 vials I'll have to look at it again maybe just save it for special occasions or something oh I forgot it's not too late. I got a new highlighter. This is tough to open. There we go. This is L'Oreal's Magic Lumi Highlighter Illuminator. <laughs> Maybe I 
it should point it downwards. Oh, here it comes. Now, I have no idea how this is going to work. Just take a couple of dots like that. You know, I really like that. It is very subtle. And like I've said before, I am not a Uh, highlighter to be seen from outer space kind of person. I quite like that. Oops, not over here. Blend it in. Let me get this off my finger. Blend it down my nose. Cupid's bow. Now let me take a brush Now, I don't know if you can see. You can't. It's very nice. It's... It's not even... Glowing. It's merely lightening up this area. So it's not, it doesn't have any shimmer in it. It doesn't have any glitter. It doesn't have any reflect in it. 
very little reflect. It's just a It, it, it's just a lovely uh, way to, I guess, sculpt that part of my face. And I really like it. And I hope you liked it. I hope you can see it. So that's the end of this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, you can also check catch me on Instagram. My um, Instagram name is Juniper the Daisy Flower. And you can catch me there. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will catch you all next week. Peace.